So testosterone replacement therapy, or TRT as it's called, has helped many men. But generally speaking, doctors usually have you give yourself injections every one to two weeks. Is that really the right way to do things? Let me show you what I do. Boom! What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Let's talk about microdosing testosterone to optimize TRT. And I'm going to show you how to backload an insulin syringe. That's right, an insulin syringe. Look how small this is. Can you imagine that? Won't You won't even feel that. And I'm going to talk about subcutaneous versus intramuscular injections. So again, Follow me here. I'm going to try and educate you as much as possible. And everything I say, remember, I am not a doctor. I am simply an aging gentleman who happens to be a strength and performance coach who is on TRT. And I want you to get the results I'm getting. Also, the doctor I go to, if you're looking for a good doctor, which is anyone in the United States, his name is Dr. Kurt. There's also other doctors at the facility I go to. It's called Hormone Health and Wellness. I'm going to link them down below to I use. I recommend. They're awesome. They work with anybody in the United States via phone, email, etc. So check it out. Testosterone replacement therapy, aka TRT, is when exogenous, not naturally produced, exogenous means that it's put in your body via exogenous source, injection, cream, whatever. Whereas endogenous is when your body creates its own testosterone, okay? It's administered via injection, cream, pellet, or other delivery method to treat low testosterone levels caused by age or a medical condition. For me, it was caused by a medical condition. And as I've aged, it just got worse because it's not gonna get better with age, I'll tell you that much. Most likely, it might, but again, Probably not. Many men are on some form of TRT and has helped many men optimize or even save their lives. A lot of people are so low in hormones, it will affect your health. It will negatively affect your heart health, for example, if your testosterone is very, very low. Again, get your blood work done yearly. Make sure they chest, check your test, your free test, and other hormonal markers. So I've been a personal recipient of TRT when diagnosed with low testosterone in my late 20s, and it has improved my quality of life greatly. TRT must be prescribed by a doctor and your health monitored as with any therapy or treatment. So a lot of people will go buy some illegal steroids, take a low dose and call it TRT. Now it might be the same dose as prescribed by TRT, but unless it is under the control and supervision and prescription of a doctor, you're not on TRT. You're simply on a small steroid cycle. It is what it is. So the frequency of testosterone injections, like I just said in the intro, has become a point of contentious debate. So most testosterone prescribed is testosterone cypionate, sometimes enanthate, and the reason is it has a long half-life of around 16 days. This is why you'll see doctors prescribe this and recommend injections every two weeks. Think about it. 16 day half life, uh, two week injections makes sense, right? But not so fast. While this is easier on the user for timing, the bolus of testosterone in the injection can lead to site soreness and also some potential side effects. Okay. So check it out. Here's why it's an issue. Here's why that could be an issue. The testosterone peaks and valleys cause tremendous shifts in your mood and performance. The first couple of days after the shot, when the testosterone is as high as peak, you'll probably feel amazing. You'll feel amazing, your libido is increased, your mood elevated, your performance is through the roof, it's on fire. Then as days pass, testosterone dissipates throughout your body, you'll start to feel like crap. Then you inject, you feel great, then it goes down again, you feel bad, then repeat. What a terrible way to live. Up and down, it's a roller coaster, man. It's like straight up like bipolar uh, hormones. It's manic depression. And I've had it happen because I used to inject every week. And even then, even weekly wasn't enough. It didn't work well for me. So microdosing would be done every day or every other day. You can inject intramuscular. Intramuscular is putting the needle in your muscle, okay? That's like when you get a flu shot, it's intramuscular if you've ever got a flu shot. Or subcutaneous. So subcutaneous is the fatty area under the skin above the muscle. So again, you pinch your skin, that area that's in between your pinch, that's your subcutaneous, okay? 
Since you're injecting such a small amount, it's not going to be an issue. If you inject a large amount, a large amount, you have a large ball. Injecting a small amount, 0.1 to 0.2 cc's, which is literally this line right here, right here, like right above the black, and I'll show you that in a second. So that would be an issue. It would be it would be an issue if it was a lot, right? So the difference is subcutaneous disperses slower. Um, since there are a lot of blood vessels in the intramuscular, which leads to a faster absorption rate, subcutaneous takes a lot longer to break down and is metabolized, then comes back to the liver, then extreated. You get, it's a long process to break it down from subcutaneous to get into your system. So that will be slower, but here's the deal. Since it's injected so frequently, you're doing it every day to every other day. I like to do 0.1 to 0.2 every day. I like perfect blood levels and you don't feel it. It doesn't leave a mark because it's this much and it's an insulin pin, right? So doing intramuscular or subcutaneous, personal preference. I prefer intramuscular because I don't have much subcutaneous fat. But if you're a fatter individual, if you could pinch your stomach, um, it might be better for you to do subcutaneous and do it every other day, right? So by having less spikes and valleys in your testosterone level, this will also keep your estrogen levels lower due to less of a concurrent spike. When testosterone rises, estrogen will rise concurrently. By minimizing this spike, this can eliminate the need for an estrogen doctors like anastrozole and lessen the chance of side effects like gyno, which are man boobs. So now that I've kind of gone over what that is, Let's show you. I'm not going to inject because YouTube probably won't like that. Number one is rubbing alcohol. I have a wipe here. You can use a, a cotton swab in a bottle. Number two is you want to have about a 19 gauge regular needle. Okay. So you also want an insulin pin. Take the insulin pin, pull the plunger out. Okay. Got the plunger out. So then take your testosterone. Testosterone sipionate um, with 90% sipionate, 10% enanthate. For some reason, they sent this one this time. So anyway, you're going to take the testosterone. Okay, I'm going to draw what I usually draw, which I do six days a week. No, two times. No, I do five days a week. And I'm going to draw out, look how, look how little that is, 0.2 milligrams or 0.2 uh, cc. I'm gonna take it, insulin pin, back load it, okay? Oh, oh, ah, lot, lot going on here, guys. I'm doing my best. I don't have any assistance. This is a self-operated show. Now that I got that, take the plunger, put it back in, okay? Get it to the bottom, push it up to the top, okay? Then you're gonna get hot running water or a cup of hot water. Put this under the running water, okay? Under the running water or in the hot water for about two minutes. Since it's oil-based, that will thin it. So it'll go safely through this very small pin, okay? I believe this is a 29 gauge, um, 5 16th inch. You can use bigger, you can use, but this is as small as I would go. I have very little body fat, so this is not a problem. It goes through just fine. So you take it out of the water, do this, make sure all the air is out of the pin. Let's say I'm doing my shoulder, clean the shoulder area with the rubbing alcohol, stick it in, boom, boom. After you're done injecting, wipe the area, good to go. So that is how you backload testosterone. That is how you backload your TRT injections. For me, I do point two, I do one cc a week. Actually, right now I'm actually at one. Actually, I'm down to down to point two. I only do point. I only do point six cc's a week right now. Um, I'm at one hundred and fifty because that keeps my testosterone at um, one thousand um, level of one thousand total test. My free test is actually really high, so I'll do this about every other day, give or take. 150 milligrams, 150 to 175, whatever, because I do it every other day. So some people on the higher dosing charge, 250, 300, depending on your doctor, or depending on what your goals are. I'm not one to judge. Again, you could do that every day. But again, that's up to you and your doctor and your dosing. So if you are a TRT patient, talk to your doctor about it. If not, I might suggest a great doctor, the one I mentioned before, link down below. When taking TRT... 
I recommend taking an organ and overall health supplement to make sure everything is on point and optimized. While TRT is bringing up to normal levels, we can't deny that you can have altered lipid profiles and cholesterol levels and this and that um, from taking exogenous hormones. And this is why I recommend taking Ambrosia Nectar. Ambrosia Nectar is the number one, number one supplement for organ and overall health. I'm gonna link that down below. So anyway, let me know your thoughts on this. I want you to comment down below. Do you microdose? What do you think about this? Did you learn something new? I don't know. Anyway, check it out. Before I go, I know everybody likes their swag. Everybody likes, and it's hoodie season, right? It's cold out, baby, it's cold outside because it is Christmas time because it's cold outside. Imagine if you get a hoodie like this for 25 bucks. So this Tiger Fitness star... It's got a star in it. Mid-weight hoodie. It's awesome. It's comfy. This is an extra large. It's a little bit snug. I might go with the double X next time. I'm about 217 pounds right now, five foot seven. So this is available right now. They're only $25 while supplies last. I'm gonna link that down below. Awesome hoodies. Be sure to get yours at tigerfitness.com. Be sure to buy your nectar at tigerfitness.com. Support us at tigerfitness.com. So keep doing these awesome things we're doing for you guys. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Did you find this video useful? Um, again, I love doing these things. Or was this TMI? Do you not want to know about injecting stuff? I don't know. But for you older cats who are on TRT, hopefully this helps you. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Mark Lowblider. That's not a game. The best booster isn't a shot, it's your natural immune system. Every time we step out into the world, we are attacked by viruses that do their best to break down our defenses. Vita helps solve this problem. Vita contains proven antiviral replication supplements and Immulina to ensure that your body is primed to defend itself against foreign invaders. Don't go another day unprotected. Get your Vita today.